MRCEM OSCE course. Preparatory for the Royal College of Emergency Medicine. UK OSCE exam. Website www.mrcemoscecourse.com. Facebook page MRCEM OSCE course. Hello colleagues. I am Mohammed Abdelghani Siddiq, co-founder and instructor of MRKM OSCE course. You are welcome to our new podcast series. Today, I'm going to speak about abdominal examination, which is uh, also frequently appearing in the MRKM OSCE exam. You will have one minute outside the room as usual for preparation and to read the scenario and to review the pie chart. Uh, usually, they will give you a patient usually female of abdominal pain, uh, could be epigastric, right upper quadrant, or lower abdominal pain. Uh, then uh, at this mid, you need to formulate your uh, differential diagnosis. So to be ready at the end of the station, if they ask you uh, about the differential diagnosis of the condition. If sometimes, or uh, usually nowadays actually, uh, it will be as um, teaching station where you will find a junior doctor uh, to teach him abdominal examination. So get inside the room, wash your hands, have a look inside the room for any clues and introduce yourself. If there is a junior doctor, introduce yourself to him and confirm his identity and his level and uh, confirm with him that he would like to uh, to know about uh, abdominal examination and then ask him how much does he know about that and tell him that you are going to teach him today abdominal examination and to feel free if he has any question to ask you immediately and inform him that at the end of the, sta of the station you are going to give him some lectures and online resources for further studying and you will be happy to meet him again for further discussion and then immediately get to the patient again introduce yourself and confirm his name and age and um, ask him how can you help him today he will tell you that he or she uh, has a tummy pain and it's uh, upper or lower uh, or right upper quadrant abdominal pain then just ask a few questions to confirm the condition if lower abdominal pain in female child bearing age then you need to ask her about the last menstrual period and if there is vaginal bleeding, for example. And immediately uh, confirm with the patient uh, if he feels pain, so can you can give painkiller. And um, take consent for the examination and consent for teaching of your uh, junior colleague. And call for chaperon for all patients, please. And also ask the patient to expose uh, the specific area you would like to examine and to lie on the couch for you. And then start your examination from the end of the bed, from the feet of the patient, looking for any clues around the patient, like sputum bot, for example, in this case, and or vom vomitous bags. And uh, assess the patient general look if he looks well, unwell, or ill. And then get to the right side of the patient and start by examining his hands. Basically, you are looking for stigmata of chronic liver disease and mention that, please. Uh, look for any finger clubbing, uh, leukonychia, also coilonychia, which is feature of iron deficiency anemia. And then look to the palms for any palmar erythema, dubitrians contracture, or if there is uh, astrexis, uh, which is flabbing tremor uh, sign of hepatic encephalopathy. Then assess the pulse and blood pressure and get immediately to the face. Look to the eyes for any pallor or jaundice, and then uh, examine the mouth for any angular stomatitis, and ask him to elevate, open his mouth and elevate the tongue to look for any central cyanosis. And then uh, examine the left nodes. Uh, here, we would like uh, to examine specifically uh, for the supraclavicular uh, lymphadenopathy, which uh, could be a feature of uh, gastrointestinal malignancy virtues not and then examine the chest if male look for uh, stigmata of chronic liver disease uh, gynecomastia if female for for uh, breast atrophy 
and uh, also uh, examine the chest also for um, spider nearby and then go to the abdomen and expose the abdomen um, first have uh, inspection for any uh, scars for any dilated veins cupboard medusa for uh, contour if abdominal the abdomen is distended uh, flat or uh, maybe scaphoid abdomen and for any skin discoloration and look for the uh, if male patient look for the normal hair distribution if lost which is also feature of uh, chronic liver disease and then uh, inform the patient that you would like to touch his tummy start by superficial palpation ask him where is the, the site of pain if he mentioned for example the pain is uh, right upper quadrant then start by the uh, immediately uh, from the right lumbar and then right uh, iliac fossa and then suprapubic and then uh, left iliac fossa then left lumbar then left hypochondrial then uh, epigastric then paraumbilical and at the end come to the area where the patient told you that he has he feels pain where the uh, right upper quadrant area uh, meanwhile uh, from time to time have a look to the patient face to confirm that if he feels if there is tenderness or no don't ask him do you feel pain do you feel pain just you need to elicit that uh, sign this is very important the examiner will just have uh, look to your eyes to confirm that you do it correctly in examination uh, it is not just you mention that I will do this and this no you need to do everything properly every step of the examination properly uh, let us complete the superficial palpation we started by tenderness check for temperature skin uh, warmth I mean and if there is superficial masses if you feel that there is a mass you can ask the patient to raise his legs from the bed so the abdominal muscles will be uh, stretched and if there is superficial mass it will be apparent for you it will be palpable but if deep it will disappear now this is the superficial palpation inform your junior colleague are you following me uh, is everything is okay yeah so now we need to go to the deep palpation deep palpation we will look for the liver spleen kidneys and abdominal aorta start by uh, looking for the if there is hepatomegaly from the right uh, iliac fossa and every time ask the patient to take deep breath in and out um, <coughs> if there is hepatomegaly then you need to measure the liver uh, uh, the liver and uh, if no then go to the spleen start from the right iliac fossa also and you can ask the patient to turn to his right side this is your side and put his hand his left hand in your uh, left shoulder and then you can just push against uh, his uh, left <coughs> uh, upper abdomen against the inferior ribs or below it to confirm that there is no splenomegaly and if still you can't feel hepato or splenomegaly then do the light percussion it's light so just uh, lightly percuss from the right iliac fossa up to the liver and then up to the spleen and inform him that this is called light percussion looking for hepato splenomegaly you can just uh, inform your junior colleague that you would like also to assess the liver span and uh, this is called tidal percussion uh, from the chest you will start from the right second intercostal space and they're cussing down and when you feel uh, the area is dull ask the patient to take deep breath and simultaneously because again if it turns to be resonant this is the upper border of the liver then start from down and when you confirm the lower border then uh, measure the distance between the upper and lower this will give you the liver span but just mention this no need to do it okay tidal percussion for liver span then uh, assess the kidneys if they are bimanually bulbable 
and then tell the patient that you would like to just uh, make a little uh, pressure over his tummy in the epigastric area it is uh, uncomfortable uh, apologize for that you are looking for uh, abdominal uh, uh, palpable abdominal aorta now we completed the deep palpation go to percussion percussion looking for ascites so um, start for looking for shifting dullness start by percussing tell him you are going to tap over his uh, tummy and start from the epigastric area in the midline and go down up to the supra pubic area and then come back don't don't raise your hand from the patient tummy and then come back up to the level of the umbilicus and then percuss laterally in any side and then uh, if you feel dullness let him um, uh, just lie on his side in the other side and await for uh, for a while and then percuss again if it turns to be resonant then this is a positive shifting dullness and there is ascites but in the exam you need to do it whether there is uh, ascites or no do this test please and also you need to tell him that uh, in case of huge ascites you would like to assess for fluid thrill this is by putting one hand in one flank and by tapping by the other hand on the other flank while maybe the patient or your colleague putting his hands in the midline of his of the patient abdomen just to prevent the transmission of impulses through the subcutaneous uh, fat and skin then uh, tell him now we completed percussion we would like to do auscultation auscultation of the abdomen and this is done by the diaphragm um, start by looking for uh, aortic brewery this is in the midline above the umbilicus and then uh, assess for renal brewery in either side just above and medial uh, or sorry above and lateral to the umbilicus about one inch in, in either side looking for uh, uh, renal brewery and th that's enough no need to perform the venous hum and splenic rub just do uh, and also the bowel sounds um, I'm sorry do the bowel sounds just lateral to the umbilicus in one side and mention that you would like to assess this this uh, bowel sounds in one minute if normal uh, sluggish or absent or maybe exaggerated by now uh, inform him that you would like to complete your examination by assessing the hernial orifices and genitalia and you would like to do rectal examination at this point inform the patient that you completed your examination and thank him for that and offer him to help him to get dressed again and if he is or she is comfortable or not and at this point the um, general doctor will start to ask you a few questions usually about the differential diagnosis of the condition what what is the differential diagnosis of epigastric pain for example you need to uh, ask him this uh, remember this is examination of the royal college of emergency medicine so you need to put all the most serious first and then go down the list tell him generally epigastric pain could be caused by various causes for example, inferior uh, wall stemi, uh, pancreatitis, cholecystitis, in elderly, especially abdo uh, abdominal aortic aneurysm and mesenteric ischemia, but also lower lobe pneumonia, uh, gallstones can cause um, this pain. Then, um, if there is no junior doctor, just the patient she will ask you about the management plan if you think the condition is going with uh, biliary colic or cholecystitis inform her, her that you would like to do ex uh, to take history from her and also to assess her vital signs and then you would like to run some investigation and tell her about the differential diagnosis uh, i would like to take complete blood count for example renal function basic screen liver function test 
and pregnancy test. Please do pregnancy test in any female of childbearing age in the exam. Uh, you might ask for uh, cardiac biomarkers if you are concerned about uh, STEMI as well. Lactic acid in case of mesenteric ischemia, for example. And if you would like to do any imaging like CAT scan of the abdomen or uh, abdominal ultrasound in case of biliary colic. And that is it. If you are slick and you will do it uh, as if you are doing it every day in your practice, it will be very easy and the seven minutes are fair enough to complete the station. I think this is everything um, I remember about uh, abdominal examination. Uh, yeah, it might come also as lower abdominal pain, as I stated earlier today. Um, young female, lower abdominal pain, right leg fossa, for example. Then give your differential diagnosis that I would like to do the urine pregnancy test and beta HCG in blood uh, for the concern of ectopic pregnancy. But also I am concerned about ovarian torsion and uh, acute appendicitis cannot be ruled out. And then could be a hemorrhagic ovarian cyst, could be UTI, could be renal colic, for example. That's it. Thank you very much. See you.